This is lesson three, add fractions with unlike units using the strategy of creating equivalent fractions. In order to add fractions, they have to have like units. In other words, they have to have the same denominator. Here we're showing rectangles, one which has one half shaded and one that has one fourth shaded. We want to be able to show them with the same units so I'm going to take my rectangle that has one half and I'm going to divide it into fourths. And I'll take my rectangle that's divided into fourths and I'll divide it in half. Now both my rectangles have eight units. In this rectangle that I had divided into half, I can see that I have four eighths shaded in. And in my rectangle where I had one fourth shaded, I have two of the eighths shaded in. So my one half plus one fourth is going to be the same as four eighths plus two eighths. And I know from our previous lesson that four eighths plus two eighths is six eighths. I know that I can make larger units out of my eighths because I know that I still have one fourth right here and I have another fourth because I have two eighths and I have another fourth. So my six eighths is equal to three fourths. So one half plus one fourth equals three fourths. Here we're going to use our rectangular fraction models to add one third plus one half. Our first rectangle will divide into thirds vertically. Our second will divide into halves horizontally. We have one third, we have one half. In order to get a common unit, we divide our rectangle that was into thirds in half horizontally. We divide our rectangle that divided into half into thirds vertically. Now we have six equal parts in each rectangle. I have two sixths and I have one, two, three sixths. So when I add one third plus one half, I'm adding two sixths plus three sixths and that is the same as five sixths. We can count our sixths in our rectangles. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. When we get common units, we might want to notice that our units get smaller. The pieces are smaller. I still have one half shaded, but when they're six, it is a smaller unit. Here we're adding two-thirds plus one-fourth. We have our rectangular model divided into three equal parts, three units. Two of them are shaded. We have our other model divided into four equal parts. One of them is shaded. We have two-thirds, we have one-fourth. We'll divide our first rectangle into fourths so that we're getting a common unit. And now our unit is twelfths. There are twelve equal parts. We'll divide, it our, we'll divide our other rectangle into thirds. So again, now we have twelfths. Our two-thirds is the same as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight twelfths, and our one-fourth is the same as three twelfths. So now we are adding eight twelfths plus three more twelfths, and eight plus three is eleven, so we would have eleven twelfths. Two-thirds plus one-fourth equals eleven twelfths. In this problem, we're adding two-fifths plus two-thirds. I've shown the rectangular model. I have two fifths and we have two thirds. Notice that since even though the denominator, excuse me, notice that since the numerator is the same, two in each of these, two thirds are quite a lot larger than two fifths. The units of fifths are smaller than the units in thirds. In order to add them, we have to have same units. So our two fifths we're going to divide into thirds. Our thirds 
we're going to divide into fifths. Our two-thirds is now the same as six-fifteenths. Our two-fifths is now the same as ten-fifteenths. We're going to add six-fifteenths and ten-fifteenths. When we do that, we'll have a total of sixteen fifteenths. And sixteen fifteenths would be one fifteen fifteenths plus one more fifteenth. So two fifths plus two thirds equals one and one fifteenth. 